Namaste. I'm so excited this month I get to really go deep with you guys and explore the nature of existence, the theory of existence, the science of consciousness. We're going to plumb the depths. We're going to go beyond what we know into a world that's so fascinating. You know, the last few years I was apprenticing with the Maharishi. He was really getting into his theory of the unified field and the unified force and talking about the underlying structure of the universe and how everything in the world worked and it was so fascinating and to tell you the truth most of the time I'm not sure I was following what he was saying sometimes he would go off into particles and whirling motions and and I was perplexed and confused but it didn't matter what he said really just hearing and connecting with where he was coming from when he would share these insights and revelations with us I felt I was getting it at another level that my mind couldn't quite keep up with. And then during my last visit to see him in Madras, India, I got to sit with him 12 hours a day. I was just sitting all day and a good part of the night too, just sitting. And I would meld into his field. His field and mine would become one. And I felt like I could experience the nature of the universe itself. It's like it was one of the biggest wows of my life, but my brain couldn't quite get a handle on it. I remember talking to Swami G, and of course he was feeling my experiences just as I feel yours, and because we are one mind, which is what you're all coming to realize, we're all just expressing through different parts, like different neurons in the brain of God. Each of us is a little part of a bigger whole of consciousness. And so one of the things he asked me before I left and before he passed away, was to try and take what I had gained from him, both at an intellectual level, but more importantly, at a level of the spirit of the consciousness, and to share it with you. So after all these years, more than a decade, you know, I've been pondering the nature of existence and meditating and going deeper and expanding my awareness out through the universe, which you all experience and hear bits and pieces of over the years. But I finally completed my new book, The Theory of Existence, which is really um, the culmination of all these years of work. And, and hopefully taking what Swamiji was trying to share about the theories of unified field and expand it. So there are certain uh, elements and analogies and phrases that he uses in the book that I take and kind of run with and I've been building on. So this month... I'm going to begin sharing with you uh, in our lectures on Thursday night these insights onto what existed prior to existence. What made the Big Bang boom? What is its booming? How are time and space and energy matter created? What are they? Where do they come from? Where does an energy particle come from? Uh, why do things uh, occur the way they do? How does one thing lead to another and how, do, how does physical matter come into being? How does How is mass created? How are things evolving and why are they evolving? What is the purpose of our existence? These are the things we're going to be discussing. I've come to the realization of how everything in the universe works and part of it's explained in the book but part of it's going to be sharing it with you. I want you to be a part of the experience. I'm looking forward to you and I connecting together spirit to spirit and soul to soul so you not only understand these things a little bit better, but you connect with me spirit to spirit and soul to soul, and you feel it, you experience it, you realize it for yourself, that so all of us can come together as one to realize the true nature of our own being, to realize God. This is the time for true God realization, and I, I can't wait to share it with you. So God bless you all. May you all be protected and guided by the divine in all your activities, day and night, in all places. Namaste. This month I'm so excited because we are going to plumb the depths of the nature of ourselves, the nature of the universe. We are all enlightening. The whole world is enlightening. The whole world is coming to a self-realization, a God-realization. Collectively we're awakening from the dream. But to know ourselves we have only to look. So this month I'm going to continue in the tradition of the Maharishi. What he showed me, I want to share with you. And I put it together in my new book, 
the theory of existence and the science of consciousness to take what he had shown me and to develop it, to continue to try and explain the nature of the universe itself. What made the Big Bang boom? Why did the Big Bang occur? How are time, space, energy, and matter created? Why are things evolving and developing the way they are? What created you? Why were you born? What is the purpose of your existence? What is the purpose of existence itself? I want to show you. There's some place innate within you that already knows. I'd like to access that inner knowing, show you how to go to this place because we're all of one mind. We are all like cells in the mind of God, like brain cells that are connecting. But most of us have been disconnected from the rest of ourselves, the totality of our being, the interconnected whole that our consciousness is. And so read the book, but I'd like to invite you to join me in the lectures in the membership program. I'm going to be delving into what is existence. How do we perceive? Why it is we can see some things and not see other things? Most of the world we don't see. We don't see the invisible forces that are guiding us. I want to plumb the depths of this awareness and enlighten you as to the nature of existence itself. I want to show you and explain scientifically using quantum physics and molecular biology going into how DNA structures are formed and how energy moves through your brain creating thought what your own mind does to create the phenomenal world that you experience through your mind and senses and what is the nature of consciousness itself we're going to be looking at the eastern perspective and the western perspective we're going to be looking at it through physics quantum physics molecular biology we're going to be looking at it through sociology and psychology i'm tying in all the major sciences or the, the physical sciences the behavioral sciences to look at the underlying essence of everything that is. What is consciousness and how does it bring forth the world that we experience and the life that we behold? So I'm looking forward to sharing with you more. This is going to be an exciting month or two and I want you to jump in and learn what you can because the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about the world you live in, the more you learn about God, the more fulfillment you will find the more meaning to your existence and ultimately the more happiness and peace you're going to realize as a result. You are the ones that have been called. You are the ones that are to take this information and to come to this realization and to bring it forth what you think and say and do and to share it with others until the whole world awakens so ultimately we may all live together in happiness and peace as one mind with one intention to bring more love into this world. May the whole world live in happiness and peace. And may you enjoy good health, long life, prosperity, happiness, and peace.